stargazing has always been a common human pastime throughout time. But how our ancestors used to represent space in their heart is another question. In this video, we will focus on three main historical periods. The Antiquity, the Middle Ages and the Contemporary periods. Humans have always been fascinated by the stars, the moon and their positions in space. So they have always sought to represent them and give them animal or human forms. This phenomenon has existed since the beginning of mankind. At the Lascaux caves in France, dots painted on the wall were interpreted as a possible representation of stars. So let's begin with the antiquity. The Egyptians were fascinated by space. They orientated their pyramids towards the north so that the pharaohs would join the northern stars when they died. There were many representations of celestial vaults on the walls of tombs with the aim of guiding the dead into the afterlife. They had a very good knowledge of the movement of the stars. In the first century before Christ, reliefs from the Dendera zodiac were found on the ceilings of temples to Osiris. Recent discoveries have shown that the constellations on those reliefs are accurate and can still be observed today. So now, what's going on in the Middle Ages, Marion? Many manuscripts were found in which the cosmos was represented in diagrams. However, we've noticed that these diagrams often switch the position of the Earth or the Moon with that of the Sun. Some of the names of the planets are different from the name we use today, but otherwise they are largely recognizable to modern viewers. Artans, I think it's for you! Nowadays, space is used in many different forms of art. For example, in cinema, with films like Interstellar or Star Wars. Even in the literature, with books like John Carter of Mars. There's even such a thing as space art. But in the end, the form of art that puts us closer than we've ever been to space is photography, obviously. The way in which the cosmos has been represented throughout history has evolved over the course of humanity. But it's not just a question of scientific discoveries, it is also a question of the aesthetic choices that were in vogue at that time. Yes, the understanding of space has always been the subject of a very close relationship between artists and scientists. But anyway, it's getting dark outside. Do you want to go see the stars? Of course. Okay. <laughs> 